more about what's inside the head and the whole HTML format. Now, in the past, when you are using an H working an HTML page before HTML5, you'll notice like there's a couple of extra additions. So we have back type HTML. This just shows us we're using HTML5. And also, it's good standard. HTML5, basically, and W3C, like all those standards, there's a lot of standards now that are really, it will work without them, but it's really meant to help both search engines, people with disabilities, and there's a lot we'll talk about that are that we can use with HTML5 that's really just to, to help others. So here, uh, language equals equals to English, that can help search engines. So we, we can put that in. It's better to put it in. Um, or screen readers, it's just a good idea to put it in. Okay, so we have that. Um, in the head section, we have meta care set is equal to UTF-8. This just shows that we're using Unicode. Um, you know, there's Unicode and ASCII. This says we're using Unicode. Title, we mentioned already, it's the title that appears on the top of the browser. And that was in the head section when we include CSS pages. That will be in the head section, too. So right now, that's what's in the head section. You don't put headers of a page in the head section. You do that. Um, the head section is only meant for certain tags. HTML, you'll notice, is all tags. Start tags and finish tag. Head, we start and we end. HTML, we start and we end. Body, we start and we end. H2, we start and we end. There's a few tags that we'll talk about that don't have start and end tags, but most of them have a start and an end. You can see the P tags, the start and the end, the I, start and an end. So that gives us a little bit about the structure.